Let's move on to example 5. Mrs. Malvar sold her bag for 50,000 pesos. How much is the cost of goods sold or original price if the gross margin rate is 25%? So kung sa problem kanina sa example number 3 at 4, hinanap yung ating revenue. This time, ang hinahanap sa atin ay yung original price o yung cost of goods sold. Ang formula na gagamitin natin ay yung paring gross margin percent is equal to gross margin over revenue times 100 where gross margin is equal to R minus C. Substitute natin yung mga given. Yung given natin, yung gross margin percentage is 25%. Tapos yung ating revenue ay 50,000. At yung ating cost of goods sold ay nawawala. Then, multiplying both sides or dividing both sides by 100 will get 0.25 is equal to 50,000 minus C over 50,000. Multiplying both sides by 50,000 to eliminate 50,000 denominator will get 12,500 is equal to 50,000 minus C. Combining similar terms will get 12,500 minus 50,000 is equal to negative C. We'll get now negative 37,500 is equal to negative C. Divide both sides by negative 1 to eliminate that negative number. We'll get C is equal to 37,500 pesos. And that is our cost of goods sold. Now, here is example number 6. Mr. Agudo sold this car for 1,500,000 pesos. If the gross margin rate is 65%, how much is the original cost? So, same formula yung gagamitin natin. Substitute all the given. We're going to get 65% is equal to 1,500,000 minus C over 1,500,000 times 100. Then, divide both sides by 100. We have now 0 0.65 is equal to 1,500,000 minus C over 1,500,000. Multiply both sides by the denominator, we'll get 975,000 is equal to 1,500,000 minus C. Transpose 1,500,000 to the other side, and we'll get negative 525,000 is equal to negative C. To eliminate the negative sign, we're going to divide it by negative 1. And then, we'll have C is equal to 525,000 pesos. And that is the original cost. Problem solved.